continue with the review for major test two. Number 11, without simplifying, write down seventh term of this. So we know that uh, for r plus one's term, this is the formula. n taken r, a will be n minus r's power and b to the r's power. Therefore, for seventh term, means we're looking for t7, r will be equals 7 minus 1 equals 6. So we write down that uh, n taken 6. For a, that's a 3 x. So 3 x, we do n minus 6 power, then times negative 5 you do 6 power. From given information, we know n equals 15. Therefore, plug in, you will get 15 taken 6. Then I have 3x, 15 minus 6, that's 9 times the negative 5 to the 6 power. You don't have to simplify. Therefore, this is the answer for A. For B part, the ninth term, that means uh, we're looking for T9. And uh, R equals 9 minus 1 means uh, 8. Now I need to plug into this uh, formula. Therefore, we've got um, n taken 8 times uh, 3x squared. You do n minus 8 power. Then I have ty, you do 8 power. Then we know from given information, n equals 19. Therefore, we plug in 19 taken 8. Then 3x squared, you got to do 19 minus 8 is 11. Then 2y, you do 8 power. That's all because you don't have to simplify. For number 12, find the coefficient of uh, x to the 10th power in the expansion of uh, this one. So we need to remember the r plus 1's term that equals n taken r times uh, a do the n minus r's power, then b do the r's power. Therefore, we got uh, n equals uh, 12 here. So we plug in 12 taken r times uh, a is a 4. So I got the 4, you do 12 minus r's power times 2x squared, you got to do r's power now. Then simplify, we check that uh, when r equals what, we can get the x to the 10th power. Therefore, we got... 12 taken r, 4 is 12 minus r power, then times 2 to the r's power, and uh, x, I will do power power, you multiply, so 2r. Since we're looking for x to the 10th power, so we set up uh, 
two r equal ten means that r equals five. Therefore, we plug in. We got twelve taken five times four. Twelve minus five. That's a seven times two to the fifth power. We put all this into calculator. We will get、uh, coefficient will be really big number like this. Let's go to B. We need to figure out the coefficient of、uh, x to the eighth power. Still, we need to use that、uh, r plus one's term. That will be n taken r a to the n minus r's power and b to the r's power. Therefore, we plug in here. We got n taken r and a three x. You got to do n minus r power times negative two over x to the r's power. According to the information, we know that、uh, n equals eighteen.、Uh, So we plug in eighteen taken r, then three x. We do eighteen minus r's power, then times negative two over x to the r's power. So you need to simplify. Put the all x together so that we can set up x to the eighth power. So we keep going. Eighteen taken r, then times three. You got to do eighteen minus r power times x. You got to do eighteen minus r's power. For this one, you do. Negative two, you do r's power times x, you do negative r's power. So we put the all x together here. Multiply. That means we add exponents. We got the x, eighteen minus r that minus r. That means、uh, x, you do eighteen. Minus two、uh, r. You need to set up eighteen、uh, minus two、uh, r equals eight. So we figure out r equals five. Then we plug into this、uh, coefficient to figure out、uh, the coefficient now. So we plug in. We got the eighteen taken five. Then three, eighty minus r will be thirteen. Then times negative two, you do fifth power. We put all this into the calculator. We will get the answer is really really big. So we write down scientific notation for that will be negative four point three seven one times. Ten to the eleventh power. Number thirteen. Find the coefficient of、uh, x to the fifth power in the expansion of、uh, this one. First of all, you need to figure out that、uh, general term r plus one's term that equals n taken r two x. You do n minus r power times negative three to the r's power. Then we already know n equals seven. Therefore, we got seven taken r times. 
times the 2x to the 7 minus r power, then times negative 3 to the r power. Then you need to multiply by x plus 5. So count this one is uh, one term. We do distributed property now. We will get uh, seven taken r. Then two x, you do seven minus r power times negative three to the r power, then times uh, x plus seven taken r two x we do seven minus r power then times the negative three you do r power then times the five So organize, put the all x uh, together. We got seven taken r. I got the two to the seven minus r power. Then times x to the seven minus r power times the negative three r power times x. And uh, for this one, we got uh, plus 7 taken r, 2 to the 7 minus r power times uh, x, you do 7 minus r power times uh, negative 3, you do r power, then times 5. For first one, we can Put the all x together. That will be x do the 7 minus r plus 1. That will be 8 minus r's power. For this one, your x just uh, 7 minus r power. You need to set up. This is a uh, equals a five, and also the exponent equals five. For first term, I got the r equals uh, three. For this one, I got the r equals two. Then I plug in now. For the first term, this is the one. We change r equals 3 for the coefficient part. We will get 7 taken 3, then times 2 to the fourth power because 7 minus 3. Then negative 3, we go to do third power. For this part, I need to plug in r equals 2. So we got uh, 7 taken 2, then times 2 to the fifth power. And a negative 3, you do square, then times uh, 5. Then we add these two. We put all this into calculator, we got negative 15120, that's for first term. For the second term, we got uh, 30240. Then we add this together, this will be the final answer. Now let's go to number 14, find the constant term in the expansion of for this binomial. Constant term, that means we need x to the zero power. 
for any binomial expansion, we need to figure out that uh, r plus uh, one's term. That will be n taken r a to the n minus r power then b to the r's power. Therefore, we got uh, n taken r. Your a is a uh, x, so x we do n minus r's power. For b part, that will be negative 5 over x squared. You got to do r's power. From the given information, we already know n equals 27. Therefore, I plug in. We got 27 taken r. Then x we do 27 minus r power for this one we do negative 5 you do r's power then 1 over x2 that means x to the negative second power then power power means x you do negative 2 r's power for this x Put them together. As we know, multiplying of power, we add exponents. So we got 27 minus r, then minus 2r. Combine like terms for the exponents, we got the x is 27 minus 3r. Then you have to set up exponents equal 0. That means uh, 27 minus 3r equals 0. r equals 9. Then I plug into that uh, coefficient part. This one and uh, this one. So we got uh, equals 27 taken 9 times uh, negative 5 do the Ninth power. We put this one into calculator, we will get. Since the uh, answer is uh, so big, and uh, we write down the scientific notation format, this will be the final answer.